Hello all and welcome to a, another pickups video and this is pickups video number seven and a new backdrop I'm sorry if you're gonna miss the grey stairs but anyway first day out was Harlow Town and in Harlow Town my first port of call was Cash Concepts and in Cash Concepts hedges straight for the glass cabinet like I usually do and they seemingly had a whole batch of brand new Game Boy Advance games in there. And amongst them was what you've been staring at on this screen the whole time is Sega Smash Pack. Now, instantly drawn to it because it was Sega. Also because it was suggestive of a compilation. I do love my compilation games and cartridges and discs and anything to do with compilations, really. So it really stuck out to me. And of course, I didn't know a lot about it. So there's nothing on the label that really gives any clue as to what's on there. Well, not obvious anyway. The games are actually written really small below Smash Pack. But anyway, Googled it all up. It turns out it's got three games on this cartridge, an unusual trio of games to put together, I thought. The games being Sonic Spinball, Echo the Dolphin and Golden Axe. Now I have actually tried them all, they are all fantastic ports. So for £3.99 I wasn't going to argue, I took it up to the counter. Now I've been in Cash, cash Concepts loads of times, staff there are really friendly, really helpful and when I bought a few items, occasionally they've gone, yeah we'll, we'll take this off for you. So I wasn't going to question £3.99. But I had a chat with the guy for a couple of minutes and he went, I'll tell you what, sir, I will do that for you for £3. So there, as you'll see on the receipt, that is indeed what he charged me. So £3 for this to me and something in the Game Boy collection that I haven't got. So my very small Game Boy collection, very pleased with that. Very happy to have that in my collection. As a Sega fan who loves his compilations, fantastic little pickup. Okay, so from on from there... We went on to the charity shops in Harlow Town, and then I got three PSP games for a pound. I mean, they were 50p each or three for a pound, so if you're going to sell me three for a pound, nine times out of ten, I'm going to take it. However, I really should have just stuck to buy one for 50p, because that one that I bought for 50p was Smackdown vs. Raw 2011. Late in the PSP's lifespan, I think it's the latest of the Smackdown vs. Raw games for it, so it held a little bit of value. So as you'll see up here, it does trade in at CEX for £1.60, and they sell it for £4. I mean, this is a nice, complete inbox manual copy of it. So I have picked up a trade for that. I mean, if I'm hunting out for games and I can't add something to the collection, I'm always going to be hunting down potential items. So trade fodder and anything that is above 50% of what I'm paying is always a bonus for me. So this is three times the amount of £1.60. The other two games I picked up from there, well, one is because when I eventually get a little PSP one day, I wouldn't mind trying a championship manager game or a football management game on the PSP. Sort of a very handheld on the go type of game if you ask me. So I picked that up there. I mean, if you look you look up here, this one isn't worth a lot. I mean, its trading value is, what, 10p, I think? And uh, they sell it for 50p, so it's not worth an awful lot at all. But uh, it's nice and complete in manual. I mean, it's been that game at some point. It's like been attacked by a stick on, on the manual. But it's nice and complete, and just thought I'd have a little go at it. So once I picked up two, I have to pick up a third one, and everything else was basically sports titles, which were uh, also 10p trading and no real value at all so i basically just picked up the only game that wasn't a sports title and that is rock band unplugged um not one i'm going to be keeping complete in boxes manual so i mean it's going to go in the cex trade pile but uh, its trading value is as you'll see up here it's only 30p and it's a it's a one pound game so it's just a little pickup that i made because basically after picking up two you have to pick up three if you're getting three for a pound because 50p each you're going to pick up a third one if it's three for a pound, aren't you? So, yes, that was the all the charity shop purchases that I uh, got from that trip out in Harlow. So I only got, was successful in one of them. So I did decide, actually, even though I've really destroyed their stock of back compat 360 tiles, I did think, do you know what? I'm going to go in game and have a look anyway and see if I can pick up a couple more. And the reason why I picked up this first one, ignore the price on the top. I'll show you the receipt in a minute. But I'm not a big cricket fan, not really a cricket game player either, except for Brian Lara 6 on the Mega Drive. What a great game that was. But um, I thought for, seven, well, it's priced up $7.99, but it's actually 99p. I did go to the counter and get them to scan them all and check, and they just say, yes, the pre-owned stuff is 99p. Get onto that little subject in a minute. So seeing as this, as you'll see here, is a £3.50 game in CEX, and they are taking the manuals out of these nowadays and throwing away, but this must be old stock, because I did spy through the bottom that the manual was in there, because obviously they have their annoying little seal on it. So... Yes, it's complete in boxes manual. They're throwing one of the stickers on the front right across his face there. Thank you for that. So I thought, because I'm going for the full set, it's a £3.50 game for 99 pence. 
I'm going to pick this up and add it to the collection and tick one off the massive list of 360 games that I'm trying to get. So we didn't just leave a one pre-owned 360 game. We did get another one as well. And we have Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now this sort of falls under the same bracket. It must be old stock because I spined through the bottom that I could see a manual in there. Obviously because they had that annoying seal on it again. So yes, complete in box with manual. Nice copy. Don't own it. I think it's a pound in CEX. I will put it up there. And its trading value is, is not an awful lot. Uh, 30 pence. So, but uh, I haven't got it, so I'm going to add it to the collection. And uh, I'm missing all the Assassin's Creed games nearly physically, except for the first one before this pickups. So, yes, I'll pick up Assassin's Creed for 99 pence. It's only saving a 1p at CEX. But at the same time, I am missing it. It is now in the, the collection. There was one more game that I bought from there. And I did go up to the counter and say, is this 99 pence as well? As I did with all of them. This one wasn't £1.99 like the sticker says. And that was because I saw this copy of Painkiller on the same shelf. Now, it had the annoying stickers here, here, and here. And now this is weighty as well. And it's also got this, these stickers on here, which would suggest it's new. But the 360's life cycle is, uh, is obviously long gone. So I took it up to the counter and said, is this 99 pence as well? It was with the pre-owned stuff. And they scanned it and said, no, no, it's come up as 4 99 It's technically still being sold as new. Now, I looked at CEX's prices for this up here. As you'll see, it is a £5 game at CEX, and that's pre-owned. So this is technically being sold brand new. And also, it's uncut as well. So that means there's extra bump in there. And of course, being as it's new, it should all be in there. And if we open it up, it is. So we're going to have a mint disc in there. But we've got this little CD thing here. And we've got a soundtrack. And if I just slide this to the side here, you'll see we've got a making of DVD as well. And of course, we've got all the paperwork in there. So we've got a manual, which is obviously going to be fresh off the print because it's sold as new. We've got this little booklet here, which I wonder what it was first time I looked at it. It's actually a track listing and, and words in there for the for the songs as well. So that might be worth a little listen to. So yeah, that's interesting. Got a sheet of stickers. Scanty clad lady there at the top as well. A couple of postcards. And we've got a couple of posters as well. So that is, to me is a fantastic little purchase for what CX would sell it for pre-owned anyway. So I nabbed that. I'm going to have that all day long. So as we try and get all the bump back in there. And that was why it was so weighty. So I personally think, if I paid a fire for it, I paid a going rate for it. But I technically got it new, so I'm really pleased with that. And as you see from this receipt here, ignore the markings on those two pre-owned games. They were 99 pence each. And this, as you'll see here, was £4.99. So that was my little pickups from Game. And I was actually really pleased with that. And of course, from Game, where do we go after that? Well, we're going to go to CEX. We always go to CEX. We've got to see what they've got. Now, last time I went there, they had a whole bunch of Game Gear games in their uh, retro glass cabinets. And uh, I could have picked up more that day, and I didn't. So I thought, if there's still any of the cheapies there, do you know what? I'm going to pick one up. Or maybe two. <laughs> well, I said maybe two at the time, but I did only pick one up. But anyway, as you'll see from this here, I've got the Terminator. And as you see from this photo here, here it is in the window, priced up at £2.50. Now you'll notice in that photo that there's none of this plastic shroud here isn't actually on it. So what I did was, when the staff went to get it, I said, just before you go and get it, could you actually nick the plastic shroud off one of the others and put it on this game, please? It's just much nicer for me to store it in. Young lady, very helpful, said, sure, that's no problem at all. So there's a Tasmania game in there without a plastic shroud that did have one. But uh, I've got one. And only £2.50. I do want to get a full game gear set at some point. So it's just nice to have this as well. It, I'd love to have them all boxed, but it's tough to get a full set of game gear games boxed. Maybe one day, but we will certainly start off by getting them all in the first place anyway so terminate a game in the game i've never played as well only two pound fifty can't go too far wrong if you ask me now the other item i picked up from cex in that day at ohala like i said love a compilation so we've got ghost recon future soldier and ghost recon 2 advanced warfighter in the same box now what's interesting about this piece before we get into that actually as I always do, I check to make sure the manuals are in there to edge my bets. Both discs are in there. They are both meant to be classics discs as well. So they are correct. As you'll see on here, they are actually in classics boxes. Best sellers, as they call them. 
So yes, we picked up this. Now the interesting thing about this is if you picked up Ghost Recon Future Soldier from CEX, as you'll see up here on its own, it's only a pound. And if you picked up Ghost Recon 2 Advanced Warfighter on its own, as you'll see up here from CEX, it's pound fifty, And yet these are all prices on their app. So if you search this on the app, it is meant to be a pound as well. So you can buy both games in one box for a pound or you can buy them separately for £2.50. So pricing logic, I don't know. Is the compilation easier to find than the games are separately? I don't know. Just seemed a little bit baffling to me. But I love my compilations, as I've already mentioned. And I'm trying to collect uh, multi-disc compilations as sort of a subset for the 360. So when I saw this for a pound, I was always going to have it. So pretty pleased to pick that up. And that was everything from that day out in Harlow Town, people. So we moved off into Stortford a week later. And we start off with my favourite charity shop, as I invariably always do when i go to stortford and now they're getting difficult now because for ages everything that was cd dvd or game it was basically 50p buy one get one free now that they've decided recently that the game should be 50p each but it depends on which staff member you get so i'll like to take up an even amount just in case that is the staff member that thinks it's buy one get one free 50p so i don't miss out but anyway there are a couple of xbox 360 games for me there now the first one that i picked up can't find a listing for the game only on cex's app but uh, i don't have lego dimensions i probably will need some peripherals to go with this at some point because it is literally just a bare game with no manual but i just thought for 50 pence i thought that would have been well worth it or potentially 25p sadly I did do a little bit of a mess up there because I took it to the counter and they wanted 50p a game. So for the four games, I did pay £2. But uh, after I picked up three, the only way I could make it even was to pick up a sports title for 50 pence or, or 25 pence, hopefully. Unfortunately, I lost out this time around. So I went through them all. I was going to pick up Madden 11, but the disc was absolutely ruined. And I was going to pick up Madden 11 because I don't actually have an American football game. So unfortunately, what was left for me copy of fifa 10 like i said i do say though if you're going to go for a full set you do need to pick these up at some point so if you do see them in good condition you may as well pick them up and as you'll see this has a great condition manual in it i don't think there's anything else extra in there but it's a great condition manual and a great condition disc as well so yes i didn't end up paying 50p for it and as you'll see up here cx will actually sell it for 50p but they won't take it for trade anymore they will by the looks of it they will refuse it because they have so many of them but uh yes i have 10 I think I'm I'm nearly got all the FIFAs, all the standard FIFAs. I'm just missing some of the World Cup ones now, and a, and a couple of the very later ones that are still being released by the looks of it. Still releasing 18 and 19 have been made for the 360. So yes, FIFA 10, nothing too special there, but uh, a couple of Wii games for Trade Fighter that that are a little. One is a little bit special. This one, not so much. I saw these there. I saw a bunch of Wii games there actually, and I was going through them all on my phone to see what I could get for a trade at CX for the Wii games. And this is Sports Party. It has a trading value of £1.20, so it's over doubling the money I spent on it, which is kind of my minimum requirements. It's actually a nice copy as well, complete in box, manual, extra warranty guarantee safety thing that nintendo chuck in there as well so that's a nice complete copy as well but that is pure trade fodder for cex and the find of that visit to my favorite charity shop is this copy of we party now the reason why it's the find of this trip to my charity shop is as you'll see up here it's a 10 pound game with a six pound trading value so i spent two quid on the lot and this has basically made up the trade value alone and paid for the lot plus it's a nice Nice little chunk towards that PS3, which I am still saving up for. So, yes, that is a real nice find. Sadly, no manual, but the disc is fine, so they will take it. CX do take manualless games, even if we don't buy them. So, yes, that's going to CEX. I'm well pleased with that, and a nice little, little trade credit boost. So, so, from there to another charity shop. And uh, I can't really tag this as amazing, but uh, I did leave with a couple of Call of Duty games from that cherry shop. Now, the first one is the Game of the Year edition. Now, when I scanned the barcode on my app to see what the trading value of this was, you know, got to keep up to date. They are always changing. This came up. Now, this is uh, literally no trading for the Game of the Year edition and just being sold as 12 quid. So I thought that was really bizarre. Must admit, there's no way in hell I would pay 12 quid for this. And to be honest with you, I think CEX are more likely going to take this for it, which, as you'll see, the trading for the standard 
copy of Call of Duty for Modern Warfare is 60p. So, and they sell it for two quid. So I believe if you traded this in, they'll give you 60p for it and they'll probably sell it for you to you for two pound. But the reason why I spent the money on it, I've got two two box variants of this games already. One's classics, one's the standard edition, but this being the game of the year edition, it's got a nice condition disc, nice condition manual, and it's got all the extras in there as well. So it's just a nice piece to go into the collection as well. So I'm quite pleased with that actually, to buy that for 2 99 And you can actually buy this online, Game of the Year edition from CX for £12, if it's there, I suppose, with that option. But there you go. Anyway, the other Call of Duty game I got from there, just a copy of Black Ops 2. Now, Black Ops 2 did drop down to about three quid trading value. Not so long ago, to be honest with you. Now it's back up to six quid, six quid trading value, and they're currently selling it for a tenner. So as you'll see here, that is. So I'm well pleased with that. So basically for 2 dollars I'm going to spend three quid all day long and double my money. So absolutely happy with that. It's a, it's a nice copy of the game as well. And it's a two-disc game. Both discs are in there. You've got, to be, uh, you've got to learn which games are your two discs with a 360 so you don't get caught out. And of course, we've got a very plain, basic, thin manual there as well. So... Yes, pleased with that. Just a quick flip for CX trade credit of six pounds when they sell it for ten. So next up, brand new charity shop time. There's an RSPCA charity shop that's popped up in Bishop Store for now that I never knew about, and they had this table full of DVDs, CDs, and there were three games in there. Two of them were FIFA's for the PlayStation Three, had left that behind. But anyway, they had a bit of paper tape to this table saying ten p all discs. So I had a look through it, and the only Xbox 360 game that was there was EA Sports Active 2. I mean, 10p, what can you get for 10p? Barely nothing, you know what I mean? So it's a fantastic copy as well. Great condition disc. And again, this is the weight of this box because it is manual. Wow, that is some chunky manual. That weighs a lot. Extra bit of paper behind there as well. So it's a proper complete inbox game. And for only 10p, like I say, what can you get for 10p nowadays, eh? And as you'll see up here, I mean, it's 50p in CX with no trading at all. But uh, another one off the Connect list. And I really need to get a Connect sensor, really. I've got loads of games for the Connect now, and I don't have a Connect sensor. But at the same time, I don't have a room when I eventually move people. So that was all the charity shops done in store for that day. So I moved on or to to the regular, to the CEX. We always visit CEX every time we go and picked up a couple of 360 games from there. So what did I get this time? Obviously, I scout for manuals. So I picked up a copy of OBG Fights 2, which is completing a box of manual, which is uh, competing with EA Sports Active there for the world's biggest manual. So nice and weighted. I mean, I picked that up straight away. I knew there was a manual in there. So £1.50, that's no money at all. And the other game I left for that day was Blackwater for only a pound. I mean, to be honest, if it doesn't, the greatest of games, but at the same time, you never truly know till you try it. But there you go, complete in boxes manual. And so cheap at the moment. And the Xbox 360 stuff is. Um, other people have said this before. I think Scott of Glory 182 said it. It's so cheap at the moment that you've just got to lap them up and buy them up. And I honestly believe that in a couple of years' time, you're going to see the prices of a quite a few of these games steadily rise. And uh, I would advise people just to pick them up now. It's certainly if you're into your 360 and you're a collector, just anything that's cheap, just, just pick it up, get it in your collection now. So I did actually leave with a one game as well. And the reason why I left with a one game is because we all love our extra bits of cardboard and plastic, our little slip cases. Don't we just love them? And I saw this sitting there for six pounds. And I must admit, I did nip the slip case off while I was there. I've actually already pre-prepped this. The sticker and the recycling sticker was on here, but I have had issues with peeling these off and some of it, taking the, uh, the transfer off. So I wanted to check it wouldn't do that before I displayed it. But anyway, we've done that. And the extra little bits of paperwork were in there as well. I've even got some kind of manual on it, which is very rare for current generation consoles. And it was only six quid, so I thought that was a bit of a bargain at six pounds. And uh, yeah, just snapped it up. Absolutely snapped it up. So, Mafia 3, I haven't actually played a Mafia game, so should I start at the beginning or should I just dive straight into 3? But a uh, nice piece, a nice slipcase, really pleased with that. Now, that is everything from that day out in Stortford, but there was a day out in Stortford, or should I say a night out in Stortford, where I had to pick someone up from where they worked quickly, and I had 15 minutes before shops shut. So I dived into that favourite charity shop of mine, and what... Uh, what a decision that was. That was a great decision to dive into the charity shop that day because I left with 10 pieces. Now, we're going to go back to the fact that they don't know or each member of staff doesn't quite know the rules of transferred across. 
50p each or 50p buy one get one free so this pile of 10 games it was 50p each should have cost me a fiver or it was buy one get one free should have cost me 250 anyway i took my stack up to the counter yeah i'm good behind the counter three quid please do you know what i wasn't even gonna even gonna argue if she was doing the buy one get one free and it should have been 250 she said three quid i'm happy with that i was expecting a fiver i was always expecting now I'm always expecting now to pay 50p per game. Sometimes I'll take a gamble, but I'm expecting to pay it. So I was well pleased with that. Anyway, five of them were Xbox 360 games. Let's crack on with those. First one was Assassin's Creed 2. It's going to say, a lot of the Assassin's Creed games I own digitally, not physically, thanks to games with gold. So I'm picking them up all up when I see nice copies of them. And the disc on this is fantastic condition. Manual's fantastic condition. All the extra bits there i'm just honestly i'm so pleased i just had that 15 minutes to go in one shot while i was waiting for my mate to finish work it's fantastic so we've got assassin's creed 2 at four so if it's three quid every game and it's technically cost me 30p so assassin's creed 2 is has a trading value of 30p and sells for a pound as you'll see here so not only do they have assassin's creed 2 they also had assassin's creed 3 again now i've got the first one you see i've just got the second one i've got the third one i've got revelation so they are building up these assassin's creed games again they're all in there it's meant to be a two disc game they are both in there as well I've got the extra bits of paperwork behind it too fantastic condition disc it's going to say when they're that sort of money you just have to pick them up so assassin's creed 3 is a one pound 50 game and i've technically paid 30p for it if i want to trade it in i can make a 10p profit as you'll see here so assassin's creed 3 um, really am knocking off the Assassin's Creed off the list of games that I need. The next one I picked up, Wanted Weapons of Fate. Again, not a great deal I know about this game. Never played this one. Of course, I did open it up. Complete in box of manual. Great condition manual. Great condition disc. So, technically, only pays 30p for this. And this one is a £1.50 game in CEX and 40p trading, just like Assassin's Creed 3. So, yes, another one that's nice to be knocked off the list there with Wanted Weapons of Fate. Now to a game that I own digitally and not physically, and until then, and that is Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2, I believe, is £2.50 in CEX with an 80p trading. So, nice condition box with manual although i do believe that this is meant to have a slip case so if it is that is missing but uh criminally i don't own a physical copy of borderlands 2 i now i do i've got the first one and the second one just need a physical copy of the pre-sequel now so yes please to just nab that for 50p when cex want two pound 50 for it and then the last one is command and conquer kane's wrath now command and conquer games are well worth picking up if you ever see them for like 50p or or anything like that because they always hold a little bit of value and they've always got a little bit of trade credit at cex for example this trades in at three pound at cex and they sell it for a fiver i mean that alone i mean the disc is dirty and these are clean and there's no manual but the the other side of it is fine there are light scratches but i'm comfortable with that will play don't have it in the collection so it will stay in now until i either get a manual for it or get an upgrade that has a manual so yes command and conquer canes of wrath Oh, it's only 30p again and that is the end of the 360 games so that's half of them from that visit in Stortford well, that one visit in Stortford to that one charity shop should I say and then I went decided because I had the time to and only had the time to go there to go through all the PC games and it kind of paid off for me now I don't normally buy PC games but I had my phone out and I was going through them all I went through all the big titles I recommended or, or recognized sorry and the first one that I saw and picked up was Dragon Age 2 and it's actually sealed now, the good thing about this is not only is it sealed, so it's going to be guaranteed to be in great condition for them to take in, but they uh, they sell it for £6 and its trading value is £1.90. So that's just literally going to go straight to, uh, to CEX for my 30p. That's a great little markup. Now, the second PC game I've got, no, nothing about these. Never heard of them, to be honest with you. Excuse me. But StarCraft Heart of the Swarm. Now, StarCraft Heart of the Swarm is, they also sell for £6 and give you two quid for, so another great markup for me 30p. There's another, I mean, this is a beautiful little box, actually. Another StarCraft game. We have StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. This time, they will sell it for £3 and give you trading for one, so that's still a good markup for me 30p. Like I say, always like to double my money at least. Now, the last two PC pieces are games that I do recognise. One of them is Diablo 3. And Diablo 3 is £1.40 trade, and they sell it for four quid. 
And then the final piece is also from Diablo. It's Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. And this has two pound trading value and they will sell you for six quid. So that is some fantastic markups on for that three pound bundle. So not only have I bought a load of games for my collection with, with regards to the 360 side, I've then got a load of these PC games which will not only get my money back from what I spent there, but will also get me a little boost trade credit as well ab above the three quid that the girl decided to charge me. So thank you for um thank you for that. I don't know why you made it where you got three pounds from with your two price instructors, but there we go. So ladies and gentlemen, that's nearly the end, but we still have one more stack to go through because I bought an eBay lot and this probably had the turn up of the video. I mean I've had a couple of good turn ups. Nothing <laughs> nothing like amazing, but a couple of good turn ups. But I am saving the very best to last. Now, picked up an eBay lot with some games to trade in because I already owned them. So there are 10 here. I paid, or my winning bid was £6.50. The postage was £2.99, coming to a total of what is £9.49 for these 10 games. Now, one of these alone makes it worth it. You'll see that one at the end. So let's move Diablo out of the way and just bring in the fact we got Call of Duty Ghost. Nothing special there for the first game. That's going to be traded in. I mean, it's only 40p. Um, sell it for £1.50 both discs are in there I think and a bit of extra paperwork there it's not even going to be a condition upgrade for me because I actually bought this from brand new when it came out we have another Call of Duty game I'm afraid Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 now this was going for 19p for ages but it's gone up again recently it's now trading in for £1.60 and they're selling it for 4 quid. again complete in box with manual extra bit of papers there or it's, look at that Brucey bonus, Xbox Live. Has it been scratched? No. Look at that. Free Xbox Live. Can't go wrong. Everyone loves a Brucey bonus, eh? Next up, another game that I have. Aliens vs Predator. So, more trade fodder. Uh, trade of 90p with a £3 sale price. So, that will be going to CEX as well. And so, with this game that I've got as well. And that is Saw 2. My favourite horror movie franchise of all time. And that has a trading value of three quid, so that's a great return as well. Bearing in mind, I'm gonna trade it in because I've got it. I mean, they sell it for a fiver as well, so fantastic to have that in there. And then we're getting on to the games that I now haven't got, or well, I have got the first one, but it's a box variant, and that is Halo 3. It's in this grey classics box now. I've got a standalone copy of it and I've got a classic disc in the green box but I haven't got the classics in the grey so that is now going into the collection as a box variant especially as it's uh, nice and complete in box with manual in fantastic condition so we'll be keeping that I mean it's not an expensive game at CEX they sell it for £1.50 and trade it trade will be 40 pence on that so it's nothing really but I'll have it as a box variant next up we have Ruse or r.u.s.e don't believe what you see is what it says below the word ruse so yes this game i know absolutely nothing about never played don't know anything about it the trade on it's 30p and, it, and they'll, they'll charge you a pound for it so that's going into the collection as a complete box manual complete box game with manual so that's another one off the extensive list ticked next one up is game that's around a lot to be honest with you world rally championship 2 again complete in box with manual so this one would have been a little bit more, but uh, it's trades only 90 pence, but has a sale price of £3. So I've got World Raid Championship 4, so now I have two. Just got to hunt down the other ones. Okay, we also have Medal of Honor Airborne. Medal of Honor Airborne is a £2.50 game in CEX with a trade in value of 80 pence. So it's a game I haven't got. And again, it's complete in box, although it's got a little bit of crease in there. It's somehow ended up in the box and folded over. So I guess that is only, only a £2.50 game of CX with a very low trading value. What is it? 80 pence. So yes, another collection, another game in the collection that I need. Next up is just an interesting little piece. And that is this Borderlands double game add-on pack. Obviously no trading value at CX. It's not listed. So I was going to say it's just a nice piece to add to the collection. Something a little bit, a little bit more unique. Some DLC on a disc with a manual as well so yes quite quite pleased to have that i'm going to be hunting down these sort of dlc boxes and and unique little pieces now i quite like them i quite like them a lot okay so finally the reason that i bought this lot the reason why it jumped out to me the reason why i 
had to have it. Now this Grand Theft Auto game on the 360, price of it is 20 quid at CEX. And its trading value is £12. It is in the Classics box, but I'm not, not too deterred by that. Because for what was £9.49 all in, this was worth it alone. And I'm going to get some trade back on some of the games. Probably only, <laughs> what have we got? Uh, looking at it, £6.90 combined trading back. So my trading value is over, nearly over half of what I paid. Or is over half of what I paid, over my bid, should I say. And I've got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which is a £20 game at CX. Like I've said, up here, look. And look at that trading value. 12 quid for it so we've got disc we have map we have this here there's no manual it does say somewhere that the manual is online but uh yes i couldn't believe it when i saw that in that lot there was one bid on it already and i threw in a maximum bid of 10 put 10 pound with with only minutes ago and my max bid was 650 i thought this is going to rise and i'm going to get out bid and i didn't so grand theft auto for the 360 for nothing at all really when you consider how much cex want for it so really pleased with that so ladies and gentlemen that does bring me to the end of this mammoth pickups there's quite a lot here i did really did let it build up so all i really want to do now is i want to hear from you in the comment section below about any game you may have seen please do like please also if you're not considered if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so and if you are already subscribed to the channel why not hit that little notification bell and that will drop your little notification every time i upload a brand new video and then i think finally I think so, yeah, finally, that just leaves me to say thank you for watching, and as always, take care.